The indigenous goat in southern Nigeria, also known as the West African dwarf, is usually stocky and rugged, but its small size means its meat yield is low. The large Sahel goat from the arid north of the country often struggles to survive in the south. So Ahmed Balogun, a professor of applied meteorology at the Federal University of Akure, is leading a special research project which adapts the large Sahel goat in the south and then crossbreeds it with the West African dwarf to come up with a unique breed. They're calling the process climate smart agriculture. We brought animals from the hot, arid environment. We adapted them to a humid environment. That is climate smart agriculture. That is, we have introduced a new variety that is bigger, and then we now mix the what? The hardiness of the one here to that one to give us something that can tolerate heat, that can tolerate rain, that also is disease resistant. That is the climate smart agriculture. All the goods here were being used for the project, besides being fed in their paddock. They are also allowed to graze within a controlled area where the foliage they eat is grown specifically for that. And the crossbreeds are larger in size and have more meat. We started this process with just less than 15 goats and maybe 10 sheep. Today, we are over 100 in strength and we have been selling since 2022. And there's also one thing, they are eating puberty maturity faster. They are reaching maturity faster. Even though we don't breed them earlier than, they are ready to breed between six and seven months, but we don't breed them then, we breed them around 10 months. That's another climate smart intervention or innovation. The university has now set up a franchise on the initiative. About 30 individuals have taken up the franchise and have set up their own climate smart good farms some like this man, in their backyard. I'm planning to go full end, um, to go commercial on it. I, recently, we purchased some acres of land to be able to build commercial plot and a commercial go tree where we can rear them on the commercial scale. With the interest that this thing has generated, in another, by, by 2025, we're going to be looking at about maybe 250 to 300 farms set up. It seems a difficult task to accomplish, but with Professor Balogun's passion for the project, it's really not impossible. DG Badimosi, CGTN, Akure, Nigeria.